Hey guys, Ponce here on the PBE, here to make you guys a little guide for Bard and his portal usage. So uh, port by portal usage, I mean the E, the magical journey, is of course you place a one end of the portal on terrain and it makes a, an exit out the other one. So I'm just going to start off right in base here. You can make probably one of the longest possible portals in the game by just doing that. It works on either side, so you place that there, and you can get back into lane really quickly. Probably the one you'll be using more often than that, um, since that would be heading top lane would be the one that heads right to bottom lane. So you can do the same thing here. You just kind of uh, make it like that. And if you don't angle it perfectly, uh, it may ends, up, ends up being like really short and it'll stop about there. So of course, this is one another one of the longer ones. So if you're heading back in a lane, that's a good little speed boost there like that. Um, incidentally, I turn SmartCast off for uh, using the E. It's just, it's really awkward if you use it with SmartCast. I know some people like um, SmartCast with range indicators, but I really don't like that one. So, um, yeah, that's just how that works there. Uh, now, I guess just what I'm going to do in general is just kind of go around the map showing you various really long uh, portals to use. So, I don't know, if you if you go here and then suddenly decide, well, I want to go up there, you know, that you can go through all that terrain there. Um, this wall will basically stop at the, um, if you're using your own base, it'll stop at that little exit there. So that doesn't count as terrain there, if anyone was wondering. Um, sometimes you'll have a charm like right around here, and then you can you know quickly do that and go over here like that. Now that's not actually the fastest one in the lane. The longest uh, portal probably in the game is this one here. This one is kind of awkward angle, especially if you don't have um, SmartCast turned up, but you can go all the way through there if you angle that. And that's probably slightly longer than the base one, as you can see. You go like that. It's kind of close, but I do believe this is the longest portal in the game right there. Uh, I, but again, I could be wrong. Some of you guys might have found something longer. Uh, another neat little one is you can actually use the back of the dragon pit like this. It looks like you kind of go into the pit, but it's actually uh, you're going straight through like that. So that's a fairly long portal like that if you want to travel that way as well. Um, of course, all this stuff here is traversable. You can't get anything too, too long. This is another semi-long one right here. If you just kind of angle it like that, you can sort of go diagonally through the whole thing. In fact, if I place it there, you can actually go like that. It's a little bit longer, but you know, it's just kind of traversing through your own jungle like that. Uh, there's another fairly long one here. Let's see if I can get this one yet. That one's definitely up there in terms of length. It'll shave off a lot of time if you happen to be going top lane. Go straight up there like that. Um, if you're going to top lane, you can, of course, just go straight through this thing here. That's another long one right there. I guess um, this one is, of course, very easy. You wouldn't need smart cast for that. Uh, you can, of course, go up there through there. Uh, there's another diagonal one here that would be quite long if you happen to want to be going to top lane in here like this. Like that. Uh, Baron Pit's got some nice and long ones as well. Let's see if I can get some off here. As soon as the cooldown is up. Of course, the uh, the opposite of this is up here. So this would be the equivalent of the um, of that other really long one in top lane. But you gotta, you gotta angle it just right. See, that, that that one's really long right there. Again, probably the longest portal in the game. Now, well, uh, yeah, now back to Baron. Like I said, we're gonna mess around with Baron a little bit. So you can... Uh, some decently long ones that look like they wouldn't count, but they do. Uh, you can, of course, do this from here. It's going to be a pretty long one right there, like that. Just cut through the back of the terrain. So you guys basically get the idea. Um, now, in terms of the actual mechanics of this portal, uh, it's important to note that being in that portal does not make you invulnerable. Uh, you can actually die while you're in the portal, so people can like keep shooting you and stuff. I'm not 100% certain how it works with displacements. I'm pretty sure you can't be displaced once you're in the portal. For example, if Blitz grabs you, I think you just keep going, but I'm not sure. I'd actually have to test that one. Um, I don't know if any of you guys in the comments have actually tested that. You could probably let me know, and maybe I'll add it in the, in the description below or something. But, um, yeah, I don't really know how it works with stuff that actually pulls you out of it, like Blitz gra grab and stuff like that. My guess is no, but uh, I'm not certain. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's kind of it. You guys sort of get the idea. I mean, it's not exactly the most complicated thing ever. Once you have the idea and turn, I don't have to turn uh, SmartCast off, the uh, the way I put it when people ask me when I'm live streaming and stuff is, can you draw a straight line through the terrain where you want to put the portal? If the answer is yes, then you can do it. Um, all you need is just a, a straight, unbroken line. And even if it looks like it kind of shunts over the terrain a tiny bit, it, it'll still work. So, you know, I showed you guys, like, with there, and the Dragon Pit, and the Baron Pit, and stuff like that. 
Anyway, that's all I have to say. Hope you guys found this one informative, and I'll see you around. Bye.